In this video, we're going to be sharing with you the third component to any successful offense in Madden 21 and how you can use this to make your gun bunch offense even better. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, I just want to encourage you to click the subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of your screen. Our channel is all about helping people become the best Madden player in Madden 21. And so if you want to get access to the videos that we release every single day that can help you get better on the offensive and the defensive side of the ball, I just want to encourage you to click that subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of your screen. We have video upload videos pretty much every single day that can help you get better at this game. Now, we're we're in a little bit of a series right now where we're talking about offense and schematics and kind of coming back to the core uh, core simple components of an offense and so what we've covered so far is we've covered the power play and the power play is really designed to be that play that is like the Lombardi sweep of your offense it's the play that you must make go it's the play that you will make go and it's the play that you will run again and again and again and then the second tier play is kind of for for us out of the gun bunch it is the play flood that's our power play that's the play that we must make go and the play that we will make go and the play that we will run again and again and again and again if you want to grab the gun bunch offensive guide. I actually have a full guide that I'll leave in the description for you. Uh, it literally has a complete guide with video breakdown, written setups, and film study analysis that you can get for just $15 in the description. It's not only a great way for you to get better at Madden, but it's also a great way for you to be able to support the channel um, and help us continue to grow. But anyways, our first priority is to be very good at the play flood. That's our power play. And then our second play is going to look exactly the same as our power play, but it's going to go in a little bit of a different direction. And that's the Jets dig play. I'll show that to you here. We don't. We literally don't make any adjustments to it. Literally zero adjustments to it. Flood, we only make one adjustment to it. And then we've reached our third play. And our third play, actually up until this point, I've been utilizing the play mesh. And so we're going to go over both of these plays in this video. Um, but I've been using the play mesh, and I'm going to share this with you really quickly just briefly and if you look at the play mesh it looks very similar to smash return uh, in the fact that you have basically a flood concept to the right side of the field the difference is and i'm going to share that in just a moment i'm going to come out and play flood and kind of break this down for you but what we want is we want our constraint three plays if at all possible we want all of our plays to look identical that's one of the key elements to any scheme is you want them to always look exactly the same so that the defense really has no cue at the snap especially that is so that the user has no cue at the snap what you're doing so anyways we're going to come out and play flood so the first uh play that we want to go over is flood this was the power play the setup's very simple we literally just put the running back on an option route and then we just make reads we just make reads we throw lasers and that's what we do okay and then what happens is they start calling maybe cover three stock or we start to notice that and so we go to jets dig and so jets dig is like i said i've talked about this before but i believe this is probably one of the best cover three beaters in the game as you can see right there it just gets over the top of it every single time but mesh then we come to the constraint theory and this is how i would normally t tell you i would encourage you to run the mesh play the first thing i would do is i put the circle receiver on a smart route i'd streak the r1 receiver and then you know i might do something to the to the tune of this right here on the back side right something like this but what i would do is i would motion that circle receiver all the way to the outside and kind of let him set his feet as you can see right there and then i would just throw that corner out I'm going to tell you to, instead of, if you are really trying to, if you are really, really trying to simplify your offense down to the core, I'm going to tell you in this video that you don't actually need the play mesh. In fact, you really only need the play smash return. And so I want to go over that with you here and how I would recommend running that. So this is uh, a 25, uh, or a, I'm sorry, a 525 Mabel. So it means the flats are on five yards, the curl flats are on 25 yards, and the hook curls are on uh, five yards. So I just want you to show, I just want to show you, you know, kind of what this would look like if they went with a pretty significant Mabel coverage. And so the smash return, um, it's actually really simple of how we're going to run this. And basically what we're going to do, and you could do a lot of different things. There's a lot of opportunities that you can do. What I would recommend that you do is I would recommend you take the R1 receiver and I would tell you to put him on a streak. As you can see right here, we're simply putting him on a streak route, right? Just a go route. With the running back, I don't. You can kind of do a lot of things. Okay, there's a lot of things that you can do with the running back. What I would recommend is you've you've been putting him on option route after option route. You may be putting him on like a table route. 
This is where I would recommend putting him on, you know, some kind of little in route or little underneath check down style route to the right side. This is going to help significantly if they're just dropping zones on the left to deal with the running back. Okay, so it's basically an inside flat route to the right side. And then we're going to leave the circle receiver on the route that he's on. And at the snap of the ball, what you're going to see is that this X receiver is going to get open. As you can see right there, this route actually just so happens to be one of the glitchiest routes in the entire game. It really doesn't matter what deep defense they run it's very difficult for your opponent to be able to have consistent success with this so uh, we'll show you here this time we'll drop the the linebackers here uh, into that Mabel coverage and I just want you to kind of watch how this is going to play out so again we're just going to the place match return we're just streaking the R1 receiver that's all we're doing and then we're going to take the running back you can either put him on a wheel route or you can put him on a little in route I really do like the in route but as you'll see once again that tight end route is super super glitchy and super super wide open now that's against a cover three mabel so i want to i want to kind of shift a little bit and i want to talk specifically about cover four and then i'm going to talk about one other kind of coverage that you're probably going to face uh here in just a moment the reason this is powerful is it forces them to have to worry about the tight end it forces them to have to worry about the tight end um the tight end gets into a really tender spot that the flood play really doesn't get in as you see there against cover four that gets open against it as well again it's one of those routes that just gets open against zone coverage it's what makes the gun bunch so effective is that it's very very difficult for your opponent to be able to consistently run zone on you so i want to show you one other adjustment that they might make and that's they might run a five or a, i apologize a 25 five and five mabel um and i just want to share with you how this really does do a very good job against a lot of the things they're going to try to do so not only does this do a good job like if you were to run the play flood just just for kicks and giggles here if i ran the play flood you would notice that a 525 mabel really can't stop that either so that's just something that you want to kind of think through a little bit but as we transition over here i just want to share with you kind of a, again a 525 mabel uh we're going to drop the outside guys back into the flats give ourselves the best chance to be able to stop this um, and so what you're going to see is if I go to the place mash return, streak the R1 receiver, and then just snap the ball, you're going to see here that that 525, you see how you can basically pass lead the guy open. That's a very unique little capability out of that specific um, passing concept. So uh, last coverage I want to share with you is cover two, and then we'll get out of here. Again, if you want to get the entire Gun Bunch offensive guide with everything broken down into written video and analysis form, you can get that entire offensive guide for just 15 bucks. I'm going to leave a link to that in the description of this video. This is cover two. Cover two does the best that I've seen, as you can see right there. Um, they do get into kind of a unique little position. Now, if you're playing in mutt and you have a tight end that you can put like a matchup nightmare on or something like that, that will help this play. This is one thing as to why I, this is one argument into the play mesh. If you are getting a lot of cover two, then if you just basically run the same exact adjustments, but you run them from the play mesh, that corner route will actually get over the 25 yard flat zone. So that's just something to think about, but it's not as good against the cover threes and the cover fours of the world. It's primarily something that you want to use um, to be able to be uh, a cover two beater. So it's more of a situational play. And then the smash return just one more time here. You'll notice that there are points at which I can throw it. As you can see right there, it's one of those routes that there's always some window for you to be able to get the ball to him if you're disciplined and if you execute. So I wanna thank you for watching this video. We're gonna be streaming Monday through Thursday from eight to 10 p.m. Eastern. But until then, I wanna encourage you, if you wanna learn my entire Gun Bunch offensive guide, the complete offense that I personally would recommend that you run, you can get that for just $15 in the description of this video. Thanks for watching and have a great rest of your day.